In this video, we are going to go over how to cross-compile Unreal projects for Linux from Windows. First, you need to install the cross-compilation toolchain from the Unreal Engine documentation for the version of Unreal that you are working with. Open the download and just click Next and then Install. After the installation is finished, let's verify the installation by opening up Command Prompt and copying and pasting this command from the description. After pressing Enter, you should see the version of Clang that came with the toolchain as well as where it's installed. If you don't see what I'm seeing, then go to your system environment variables and make sure there's a variable, either a user or system variable, called Linux underscore multiarc underscore root, in all caps, and that the value is the directory from just shortly earlier where you chose to install the Unreal Linux toolchain. If it's not here, then just make it manually and press OK when you're done. Regardless if the Linux multiarc root environment variable was already there or you had to make it, restart your computer for the new variable to take effect. Now if you're working with the launcher version of Unreal Engine, make sure that in the Epic Games launcher, specifically in the Unreal Engine installation options, that you have the Linux target platform selected. Otherwise, go ahead and install that. On the other hand, if you built Unreal Engine from source and when you ran setup.bat, you ran it with the dash dash exclude equal Linux flag like so, then you'll have to rerun setup.bat without that flag. And regardless if you are using a launcher build or a source build of Unreal, if you work with any C++ code at all in your Unreal projects, then modify your Visual Studio installation to include the Linux, Mac, and embedded development with C++ workload. Then for any existing Unreal C++ projects, regenerate the Visual Studio project files. And now whether you're using Visual Studio, Writer, or VS Code, you should now be able to build the project code for Linux. Note that for VS Code, the shortcut to see all the build tasks was Control shift b Try building your project C++ code if you have any. I'm going to use Visual Studio to show you. Select one of the non-editor configurations. The default is usually development, and select plain Linux for the platform before building. If you do run into compilation issues here, check the pinned comment below or comment down below the error you're experiencing. But if the build succeeded, open up the project in the Unreal Engine editor and package it so that we can play the game as a standalone client on Linux by going to Platforms up here, Linux, and select Package Project. Choose a directory to place the package game in and wait for the packaging to finish. This could take a while, so feel free to pause the video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel and return when this is done. Once the packaging has finished, let's actually test the game. We can do that by running it on Ubuntu or any Linux distribution of your choice via the Windows subsystem for Linux, aka WSL. If you don't have WSL installed, open up Windows Terminal and either a new PowerShell or Command Prompt tab in Administrator mode by right-clicking the option, then simply typing out and running the WSL dash dash install command. Then fill out the prompts for a new user account. Now we can run this new Ubuntu environment by running WSL in Command Prompt or PowerShell, opening a new Ubuntu tab in Terminal, or just running the Ubuntu app. Let's finally run the game by going to where you place the package game in File Explorer. It should be a folder called Linux, and within that folder you'll have a shell script named after your project. Copy the file path of the script because that's the executable that we'll be launching. Go back to WSL, type out this command called WSL path, space, and paste that file path. Make sure the file path is surrounded by quotes if it contains spaces. This will give us a reformatted version of that same Windows path that's now compatible with Linux. Then copy and paste the newly formatted path, surrounded with quotes if needed, and we're going to pass in a few arguments. The first one in quotes is going to be the name of the game default map, which if you go back to the editor is in the project settings, specifically maps and modes. And for my project, it's called level underscore third person. So I'm going to type that out as well as question mark listen. This makes the game run as a client that also acts as a server that other clients can connect to, aka a listen server. And I'm going to have this run on port 7777, and I'm going to make this headless, meaning no graphics and no sound. Once you have all that typed out, press enter and wait for the logs to stop printing. You should see a message towards the bottom saying listening on port 7777. That lets us know that the Linux client has successfully run and is waiting for incoming connections. 
I'm going to connect to this listen server from the editor, but to do that I need to obtain the IP address assigned to the WSL Ubuntu VM. To do that, open a new WSL tab and copy and paste this command from the description. Copy the output of this command as we'll need it later. For now, go back to the editor and let's create a new blank level. The purpose is just to show the level change when we connect to the listen server running on WSL. To do that, play the game, press the tilde key while the game is in focus to open the game console and run the open command with that IP address we copied earlier and port 7777. The address and the port number are separated by a colon and you'll notice not only that the game default map loaded but if we go back to the server logs it shows that it was our client running from the editor that indeed connected. And that is all for this video. Press Ctrl C to quit the listen server. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Support us on Patreon. Join our Discord server. Thank you to our higher tier patron, Morgan Heidemann, and have a nice day.